In this tutorial, we will review how to display doors and windows on the floor plan. For this, we are going to use a project from Mr. Mataba Innocent, one of our users from South Africa. We would like to thank him for providing us with his wonderful house. So let's take a look at how this project looks. Now I'm going to switch on the floor plan. And I'll zoom in on the kitchen. Let's look at all these windows and doors in here. So in Archon XP, if you want to print a project, you can select different scale factors depending on the type of the plan that you need. Various scale factors should be used for different plans. Site plans, building permission plans, construction plans, interior design plans or furnishing plans, etc. all require different representation styles. So therefore, we have to display the door and windows with a different level of detail, which suits our purposes. Let us check the scale factor on the view control bar. Here I choose 1 to 200. In this case, the program uses a simplified display for windows and doors. Let's see how the same thing looks like when I switch to the 1 to 50 scale. Now I'm going to choose a more detailed scale factor, 1 to 20. And after that, I set back the default 1 to 100. You can assign different line weight scale to different elements. As you can see here, a 0.2 millimeter line weight has been assigned to the outer line of this wall. You can change how this is represented or displayed. We can find the line weight scale on the view control bar next to the scale factor. This is where you can decide on what scale you want the lines to be displayed on your screen. Currently it's in 1 to 100 scale, now let's see it in 1 to 1. It is also possible to select none, in which case the line thickness will be zero. This means that the program will use the smallest line weight possible and that is always going to be one pixel on the screen no matter how far you are zoomed in or out. It is often advantageous to choose a one-to-one -one line weight. This doesn't mean that the line will appear this way in printing. Selecting a line weight scale does not affect printing. If I choose print to PDF and then I choose the 1 to 50 scale factor here, the plot line weight on and off is responsible for the line thickness. This is where you can set things up. If you activate this option, then the line weight you have set up will be displayed in printing as well. Now let's go to the representation of the kitchen windows. Let's look at them on the floor plan and we see that the sill heights are all 1.5 meters. As we know in architecture, a floor plan is actually nothing more than a model being cut with a theoretical horizontal plane. This sort of theoretical plane is currently one meter high. So everything which is below one meter is going to be displayed on the floor plan. So let's check what kind of settings we have here. So if I go to the properties, I can expand this bit. And now we are looking through the drawing settings. Previously, we talked about the scale factors and the line weight scales, but now let's see other options. Cut plane is activated on floor plan. If this is off now, then this is the reason why we can see the 1.5 meter seal height window as well. If I activate the cut plane, which is one meter above the floor level, then windows with a seal height above the one meter will disappear and will not going to be shown. There is one option to display these windows with a dashed line. Please note that if you set the line weight scale to one to one, you will not be able to see the dashed lines. The distance between dashed lines is very, very small. So it looks like one continuous line. But if I choose the scale factor of one to 20, then the line is going to be dashed. And now let's set it to one to 100. So here you can see that the height of the theoretical cutting plane is currently one meter. This cut plane affects not only the doors and windows, but also the walls. So it affects the display as well. Let's look at this wall, for example. It is a 2.6 meter high wall. Let's reduce it to 90 centimeters only. You can see it in the 3D window and on the floor plan as well. This kind of low parapet walls below one meter must be displayed without any fill pattern, without any hatches on the floor plan. So there are more options here. It is also possible to display walls in different kind of representation styles or details like coarse, fine or coarse with black fillings. So far we were looking at the fine representation. Let's see how things look like in coarse black. This way I can easily modify the display of the walls to a field hatch. Make sure you always choose the scale and representation style which suits your purposes the best.